Hi there, thanks for joining. A lot of people struggle with the fast drying times of acrylics and there are several causes and there are several things you can do about it. But what I see very often is that people don't use enough paint on their palette or on their brush. And another main cause is that people sometimes forget or don't know uh, that you can prime your canvas or paper. And then of course there are also things that you can use to prolong the drying time of your uh, acrylics. But that's for another video. I will show you what the effects are of using more paint and priming your canvas or paper. So as you can see now I've, I've taken a lot of paint on my palette. So this will stay wet for hours. Maybe at some time if I leave it like this then the top layer of the paint will get a little bit dry but all in all this will stay wet for a long time and if for instance i had put this amount of paint on my palette a huh? little bit exaggerated but sometimes i see people do this and this is dry after 10 50 minutes it's completely dry and you cannot work with it anymore and of course you don't need big piles like this but try to estimate how much paint you need in advance so for instance when i painted this seascape the sky is a, a big plane of color so i needed to pre-mix a lot of paint for this part and because when i don't put enough paint on my palette for that sky i run out run out of paint so i have to remix the colors etc and then you get differences in the sky for instance when you put less paint on your palette you waste more paint because you have to make up for your errors and all that kind of stuff all the time and there's another thing as well that i need to mention i will show you say that i want to make a transition between these two colors and i first go like this so i put on my blue and then i put on this color like this and now I want to blend them together. So I will start doing this, you see, that's a possibility. But what can help as well is that you premix a color that lies in between these two colors. So like this, for instance, a little bit more. You see what I mean? I have an in-between uh, step, in-between value and in-between color. So now if I do the same thing, I uh, put on a lot of paint, you see, uh, because when I don't put paint on the paper or canvas, I cannot paint. I take the other color and you see how, how much paint I have in my brush. I, I keep it pretty loaded and then I put it on the paper and now I go over here, but I don't mix them. I just wipe my brush a little bit clean on my towel and I step over to the value that lies in between, the color that lies in between and I put it on top of that and and you see, I can very easily make a very soft transition. And that's because of two things. I have planned what I wanted to do and I've taken care that I've got enough paint. I've got enough of this one. I've got enough of this one and I've got enough of this one. But that way I can easily paint. I'm, I'm really painting and I loaded my brush. So that's the other thing how to load your brush. Often you see that beginners do something like this. They are very careful, you see, and then you want to paint and you run out of paint immediately. So try to use much more paint in the bristles and you see that way you can also shape the bristles eh? because they're wet with paint and that way you can keep this one for instance I keep it you can keep it a little bit pointy as you see so if i want to paint with this now i have paint on my brush as you see i don't run out of paint that quickly and when i start running out of paint when it gets a little bit more dry you, it's a sort of a feeling that you get you can turn it to load it again when it starts becoming too dry i just add more paint again so you load the brush constantly when you start getting that feeling from I'm running out of paint, you go to your palette and again load it, turn it a little bit so that it's evenly spread and then you go again. So, and you see for instance when I uh, uh, make a form here, I, I just do something like this. I want to follow that form with my brush. If I don't use enough paint like this, it becomes very hard to put it in the right spots. And 
You see, there I go again and like this. And if I load my brush correctly, let me take some white so you see it better. So you see also this kind of brush, I just loaded, I fully loaded. So you see, you don't have to fill it all the way down here. Uh, that's not necessary, but the bristles need to be loaded with paint. And you see, now I can control where the paint goes. If I don't have any paint on my bristles, on my uh, brush, I cannot control the paint. So uh, you could also, uh, maybe I, uh, I hope you can see that it's a sort of pushing the paint in a, in a direction. I can control it, I can manipulate where it goes. And if I don't use enough paint, I cannot control that. I cannot do anything like this. So that's very important, the way you load your brush. And of course, these were square kind of forms, but the same goes for more rounded shapes. You see, I can easily, here I start running out of paint. I think, oh, I'm starting to run out of paint. I add new paint and go, and now I get the feeling, ah, it's starting to get less. I just add new paint and go on. You see, so I can control exactly what my brush is gonna do. But now the other important thing and that is for instance if you paint on paper I have got two sheets of paper here this gray one I have primed with gesso. Gesso is a primer for your acrylic painters paintings so you put it on the surface of your paper or canvas or canvas board or panel you name it it saves you a lot of paint just look how i load my brush you see it's properly loaded and now i go painting on the on this white paper and this white paper i haven't pre-primed with gesso to see to let you see, see the difference so you see i, I will um, um, paint a square or something i'm not gonna do anything more than this you see that's one and then another one, you see it starts getting difficult already and here I completely run out of paint. Sometimes when you push very hard maybe you can find something again. And because it's that absorbent the paint almost immediately is dry. And that can be difficult when you're painting, that's very, uh, that's annoying. Now I will show the same thing but then on the same paper, this is the same kind of paper, but I've applied gesso on it. So, and I've made videos about how you can do that. So again, I load my brush exactly the same as I did uh, here. And I start painting these squares again. So the first thing you notice is that it paints very, way more easily because, um, because it's such a fine material to, to paint on the gesso. Yeah, it's, 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 it's kind of made for, made for it. But you see, here I have to go around that white thing. So, and, and although my brush is running out of paint, I still can very precisely paint. And you see how long it takes before my brush is as dry as it was there. You see, I, I still can go on. I'm, I'm doing nothing different than I did there. It's completely the same story. I, I haven't reloaded my brush. You see, now I get in the face that I was with the second square there already. And still I can release paint from the bristles. I don't, you shouldn't paint like this. It's way too dry, of course, of you shouldn't. There are no rules. You may, uh, uh, if you like it, of course, you can dry brush, yeah, as we call this. That's no problem. You may do whatever you want. But if you want that, to have that painterly feeling and you want to blend and that kind of stuff, then this is too dry, of course. But you see, I have way more mileage from the same amount of paint. Because I haven't cheated, it was the same brush and I loaded it exactly the same. And gesso is way more cheaper than acrylic paint, so why not use gesso? I, I always recommend. And you can give your gesso a color as well. You can mix acrylic paints through it, so you can give your canvas a color straight away. And that has some benefits as well, but that's in another video. Uh, now, another thing that's also very important, uh, the mileage, uh, you use less paint. It dries a little bit slower, still or a, pa a paper will dry quickly all the time, but 
It is better than this, this is completely dry. But another uh, thing is, of course, when I paint on this, I have slightly less control over, my, over where the paint flows. Because it dries so fast, I have less control and I'm all the time I'm making sure that I have enough paint on my brush, I have to reload very often and it makes the, the painting experience more uh, a different, uh, less, less fun, to be honest. So if you compare it with this, uh, I load my brush again, but if I paint on this paper you can see that I'm more capable of just concentrating on painting. That's a totally different experience. You see? And of course, also here I have to reload once in a while. That's no problem. The reloading isn't a problem. But when I'm painting, I'm just controlling my brush and I can do what I like. So, and this painting can go straight to the museum. And now I want to show you the same thing with canvas. If you buy a pre-primed canvas, and the manufacturer states uh, that they've put three layers of gesso on this canvas and that's great. It's pre-primed, I like it, but still the quality of that gesso isn't that good most of the times. And um, sometimes the canvas is a little bit greasy, so at some spots there are some grease spots and the paint will, won't stick that good and at other spots it will stick better. So that's a problem. I'll show you uh, if I use this color, I just load my brush and I do the same thing. So here I'll paint a square. You see now my brush is beginning to dry. Oh, I, I almost automatically wanted to reload my brush, you see. But you see this is going to run out. I have to struggle a little bit already to get the paint out of the brush. brush. Now, we could say, now it's really over, there's no more paint in it. And this canvas I have primed myself with extra layers of gesso, so I'll... And now I'll use white paint again, because this is a grey canvas. But you see, this is one, two, three, four, five, and it begins to, and I begin to run out of paint now slightly, so I have to apply more pressure now. But you see, it still releases some paint. Now it's getting to the point that I think, okay, this doesn't work anymore. You see, uh, sort of amount, same amount of squares, but this one, this one contains a lot of more paint than this one. This one is way more transparent already. So. Yeah, it, may, it really makes a difference. So I hope that was helpful. See you next time and have fun painting.